whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Your world and everything in it is a reflection of your own mental attitude toward yourself. Never give up on a dream just because of the time it'll take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyway. Learn to enjoy every minute of your life. Be happy now. Don't wait for something outside of yourself to make you happy in the future. Think how really precious is the time you have to spend, whether it's at work or with your family. Every minute should be enjoyed and savored. Successful people are not people without problems. They are people who have learned to solve their problems. You can predict a person's future and divine his bank balance if you know two things. The book he reads and the people he associates with. Watch what everyone else does. Do the opposite. The majority is always wrong. We are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Open your ears before you open your mouth. It may surprise your eyes. Control your thoughts. Decide about that which you'll think and concentrate upon. You are in charge of your life to the degree that you take charge of your thoughts. We can let circumstances rule us or we can take charge and rule our lives from within. Don't take the attitude of waiting for people to be nice to you. Be nice to them. Don't sit in front of a cold stove waiting for the heat. Put in the fuel. Act first. A great attitude is not the result of success. Success is the result of a great attitude. Don't concern yourself with the money. Be of service. Build. Work. Dream. Create. Do this and you'll find there's no limit to the prosperity and abundance that will come to you. We become what we think about. You'll find boredom where there is the absence of a good idea. Problems are challenges to creative minds. Without problems, there would be little reason to think at all. Never compete. Create. Picture yourself in your mind's eye as having already achieved this goal. See yourself doing the things you'll be doing when you've reached your goal. Preparation for life is so important. Luck is what happens when preparedness meets opportunity. Opportunity is all around us. Are you prepared? Don't let the fear of the time it'll take to accomplish something stand in the way of your doing it. The key that unlocks energy is desire. It's also the key to a long and interesting life. If we expect to create any drive, any real force within ourselves, we have to get excited. Most people tiptoe their way through life, hoping they make it safely to death. Our attitude towards others determines their attitude towards us. Strange and marvelous things will happen with constant regularity as you alter your life and begin living in harmony with the loss of the universe. By being persistent, you're demonstrating faith. Persistence is simply another word for faith. If you didn't have faith, you'd never persist. One thing a goal must do is fill us with positive emotion when we think about it. The more intensely we feel about a goal, the more progressively we'll move toward it. Self-pity is an acid, which eats holes in happiness. Each of us must live off the fruit of his thoughts in the future, because what you think today and tomorrow, next month and next year, 
you will mold your life and determine your future. You were guided by your mind. No man can get rich himself unless he enriches others. The picture you have of yourself, your self-esteem, will have a profound effect on the way you see the world and the way your world sees you. Be interesting. If you can't be interesting, shut up. There's nothing wrong with silence. Whenever you're afraid, it's because we don't know enough. If we understand enough, we would never be afraid. Everything that's really worthwhile in life comes to us free. Our minds, our souls, our bodies, our hopes, our dreams, our intelligence, our love of family and friends and country. All of these priceless possessions are free. Don't let the fear of the time it'll take to accomplish something stand in the way of your doing it. The time will pass anyway. We might just as well put that passing time to the best possible use. When you judge others, you do not define them. You define yourself. We will not receive, not what we idly wish for, but what we justly earn. Our rewards will always be in exact proportion to our service. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become reality. All you need is the plan, the roadmap, and the courage to press on to your destination. The mind moves in the direction of our currently dominant thoughts. Success is not the result of making money. Making money is the result of success, and success is in direct proportion to our service. Work never killed anyone. It's worry that does the damage, and the worry would disappear if we just settle down and do the work. Wherever there's danger, there lurks opportunity. Wherever there's opportunity, there lurks danger. The two are inseparable. There is a time when one must decide either to risk everything to fulfill one's dreams or sit for the rest of one's life in the backyard. The more intensely we feel about an idea or a goal, the more assuredly the idea buried deep in our subconscious will direct us along the path to its fulfillment. We must be the epitome, the embodiment of success. We must radiate success before it'll come to us.